Hi, today I want to show you the DP Power Hawkeye 3 quadcopter with camera. Comes in this very nice box with a carrying handle, and inside the box, everything is encased in styrofoam. And this is what you receive. As you can see, oopsie, I'm dropping parts already. As you can see, multiple parts comes with tools. I will come back in a little while and show you where we're at. And everything out of the packaging so you can get a better idea. You have the instructions, the controller, and this is the copter itself. And it's got the propellers and everything. And here's a memory card that comes with it and the electronics. And this is the camera that it uses. The thing I've noticed so far that I really like is say for instance these propeller pieces are packed with the screws you need for that particular part so that's going to make the assembly a whole lot easier and it comes with the screwdriver so let me assemble for a while and I will be back okay here's the first assembly tip I'm going to give you and I learned this from watching other reviews and reading about them when you're installing your propellers there are four and I don't know if you can see right here is the letter B over here is the letter A the propellers have a corresponding letter right here. It's important that you match them up because some are forward, some are reverse. And also, logic tells you you should put the screw in the top hole and attach it, and that's not the case. There's a hole on the side here, and then a hole on the side here. So the screw gets screwed through the side rather than the top. I am working on the blade guards up here. and. They fit in here, but what I'm finding, everything is so very tiny. I have been starting the screw into this piece and then attaching it and screwing it in. If you do it the other way around, it's kind of hard to get the screw going. And the landing gear is pretty much the same concept. It's going to sit right in here. And two screws will go on each little foot. And they're two, you'd be better off getting them in the holes first for ease of setup. I will be back again. I'm almost done with the assembly part. Landing gear is on, the protection is on. Now I'm going to go inside and charge the battery. This is the battery, the charger. Connects right to that. And then all we have left is a little bit of connections. And I don't know that I'm going to run the camera right now just because I don't want to damage it with its first flight. So I will be back and hopefully you can see it getting off the ground. I have charged the battery for the drone itself. You can see I have some lights flashing on the front and I have put batteries into the controller. You can see that's also flashing and now we're going to see what we can get happening. So after reading the directions, this is what I have so far. Okay, we almost had liftoff. So now I have to read a little bit more and I'm going to set it on the ground and we're going to see if we can get a little distance on this thing. So you can see what was supposed to be my maiden flight. I have already knocked off one of my throttle protector things. It takes a little bit of learning, but I can get it off the ground. I am, however, lacking steering skill as I try to record this. So you can see it's a little dirty and it's going to be completely awesome once I actually figure out how to control it a little better. Give it a little bit more shot. Okay, hit a tree. Well, that was the maiden voyage, and it's going to need a whole lot of more learning, but this is awesome, and I can't wait till I can actually control it enough that I can attach the camera and check out the neighborhood. So there you go. If you need any more tips, I'm sure there's plenty of other really good reviews, and I hope I've answered any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.